This video showed me the pitfalls of using AI for research. Why was this mantis not freaking out? It looks like it's just sitting here. So I did some research about the mantis nervous system. It turns out that the mantis doesn't think only with its brain. It has little blobs of neurons that does some of the thinking. Part of the reason why male mantises can carry on reproducing if they've had their head chopped off. However, that didn't really answer my question as to why the mantis wasn't freaking out. It's getting chopped in half. So I wanted to dig a little bit deeper. Now this video has been around for a while and the first place that Google sent me, was, funnily enough, to Reddit. Now, not many of the answers had much of an explanation as to why the mantis wasn't freaking out. However, this user here suggested that the mantis can't experience more than one stimulus. So maybe because it was hungry, it ate and it couldn't experience the sense that it was getting chopped in half. I was a little bit skeptical about this. I asked AI, what possible explanation can there be? And it gave a pretty decent overview of the mantis nervous system. However, it gave an interesting answer and it suggested perhaps the mantis can't experience more than two stimuli. I thought, hey ho, there we go. But I checked the source. Where's it from? Reddit. Now this for me wasn't a satisfying answer. So I reached out to a friend who had a master's degree in animal behavior, specifically insects. And she offered a much simpler explanation the praying mantis is reacting. However, it's simply attacking the first hornet it sees. To me, it showed one of the flaws of using AI for research. They do specify that you need to be wary with the information that the AI gives you. But is this enough? I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more.